Stacy. It is um, really cold outside and I don't know if you've been watching the news but there is an ice storm here in Lane County, Oregon and something is up on campus. Um, it's closed and I was just going to show you really quick because I'm just really concerned. <laughs> we, um, I had a radio show today because I'm a DJ at KWVA and they canceled it because they don't allow any anybody on campus. So yeah, as you can see, the whole campus is has like caution tape on it, and I don't know. It's really bizarre. I'm gonna go up and maybe it says something. It says street closed. I mean, there's still people walking around though. Anyway, there's a map. I'll show you guys when I get home. Um, it's also really like dark outside and for some reason I'm out <laughs> walking around. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is, campus is closed. And I actually, I can't go to work too because I work at the business affairs office on campus. And um, yeah, I can't go to work. It's been two days that I've been off work. I'm not complaining about that though. This is like all the ice on the trees. And well, this is not too bad, I mean, you can see like some trees kind of bent, but as I walk home, I'll show you one where it's like it landed like right on the car. Um, and there's there's been a lot of stuff. I mean, if you just Google Eugene ice storm, you'll see all those like crazy pictures. People have had like no power for I don't know for days, like for two days now since Wednesday. There's a hangar. <laughs> this is uh, what's going on right now, and. Um, my house, my apartment, we had a power bumps kind of all day and then it was like one big power loss last like later last night and I just went to bed. It was like at midnight. So I figured I'll just go to bed. So it was this part of campus, which I think this is west, yeah, this is still west campus. Um, so yeah, this is also closed on this side by the library. Okay, well, and also you see like this, this power line, yeah normally not that low and it's all because of the ice there's a lot of um power lines that exploded oh my god wow i wish i could go there but like you see all the trees and limbs and stuff falling i just i don't know i wish we didn't have to go through this um because the buses are different now and um i can't really bike because the roads are icy and it's also really cold outside i mean it's normally not that cold in western oregon so it's kind of the gist of it really. Um, campus has been closed for two days. Trees have fallen down. There's this one dude that like swerved off the road into the river because of the ice. It's just not good. Um, and they said that this storm in Eugene is like the worst in, I'm not in focus, it's the worst in like 40 or 30 years or something. Yeah, see another, this is another example. This is this huge branch right here. Yeah, like it can kill you probably, or at least hit your head really hard. There's like still people's bikes and stuff. The trees are like kind of on the ground, sort of. Um, I've been told that it all looks like a construction zone. Also look at this. Extreme storm damage hazard area, please sick alternative route. It's like, dude, this is like one of the few places you can enter campus really. I mean, you can, you have to go all the way to 18th and then university that's like five or six blocks <laughs> the good part is um there's no like classes left like it's all over um i know there's the law school exams those guys are kind of fucked but other than that yeah but it's pretty look at it it's very pretty <sighs> yeah but okay i guess i can't really enter from here anyway well um all right, I'm gonna go home. I'll show you this one part where like a tree hit a car. And I feel really, really bad for that person. I hope they have insurance. They probably do, you have to have insurance. But I just, it just sucks. Yeah, anywhere where there are trees, they just, they close it down. Um, also, the sidewalk is closed, that's great. Okay, well, I'll take this one. <laughs> and Oregon is just, we have trees everywhere, so it really isn't the best. Um, situation because especially on campus it's all covered in trees all right so now my hand is turning to get cold but I'll just give you like some quick facts really quick that I read last night um, 
Uh, last time there was a snowstorm here in Eugene, which it was a snow, not an ice storm. Um, it was in 2013, and they said that like 10,000 houses were out of power. This time it's 20,000, <laughs> so and it's an ice storm, so it's a little bit different. So um, I just feel really bad for people who don't have power because I was just thinking about it like last night when my power went out for like an hour. I thought, okay, like my dryer was running, my phone was charging, my computer was charging. Like if if I don't have power for a day, I'm really screwed. So I, yeah, unless you have a generator. So these are all sorority houses. Um, but this, but this right here, looks like maybe part of that tree fell down. Oh, there we go, this one. Okay, so I'm on 16th and Hilliard, and this is, um, yeah, kind of what some of the damage looks like. It's not that bad on this part of Eugene. This is southwest, oh, not south, sorry, southeast um, Eugene. And if you go to, like, West Eugene and, like, the hills by Eugene, it's much worse there. Um, but, so, like, oh, I can't really see anything here. This is, um, another branch that just kind of fell off and, whoa, this is all, like, a war zone in here. Um, you can't see it too well because it's really dark, but it's, it's not good. <laughs> oh my god, I shouldn't have gone here. Fuck. Anyway, so this is what I was going to show you guys. Let me go across the street. I think this whole tree... Um, I'm not sure if it's just the workers that came in and just got rid of all those other branches for safety, but, um, yeah. There's a car that got hit, and I didn't see this, to be honest. I was just walking to the, to campus. I was taking this, this street, and then I saw that, and I just feel so bad. Look at it. It just, it got hit by, I guess, it came from this tree. So, and I'm trying to think if the if it broke the window or not, um, because it looks like it did. Yeah, I think it actually broke the window. I'm not sure, but yeah, this sucks. Look at it. This is just all. It's like half of the tree just fell down. <sighs> Sorry. Jesus. Okay, this car almost like went over me. It's like, I can't. <laughs> I used to say that Russian drivers are crazy, but honestly, sometimes American drivers are just the same way. But anyway, look at this. Um, there is a power line going right under those trees, and it's like the only thing that's holding this tree kind of from falling apart. Yeah, this also used to be a big ass tree, but now this it looks like this. Okay guys, so I'm back home, um, nice and warm. It's a nice uh, toasty, not really toasty, but 71 degrees here tonight. What did I set it to? 73. I hate this kind of weather. I was actually not born in Siberia, fun fact. I was born in Saratov, which is um, like a southern part of Russia, sort of, like on the European side. It would probably get this cold in there, but this is probably the coldest it would be. Not like it was in Siberia. So I can tell you, I was pretty miserable when I lived <laughs> in Siberia um, in the winter. So, and I was just gonna show you guys really quick. Um, this is the damage on campus, because you saw like, the whole, you know, caution tape and all that stuff. So that was like along this area. I just kind of went up to here. So that's why it was all closed. And the little thing that said, you have to find an alternative route. And I was like, okay, so if you can't get in through here or here, you have to get all the way around. There's a cemetery and then we're here, you know, so it's, it's super annoying um, and nobody wants to do that. So like I said, mentioned earlier, there's a bunch of people out in the dark. Um, and it says here that it's the worst storm in 50 years. So, yeah, and it says 17,000, more than 17,000 um, households. So it's pretty crazy, um, as you can see. And then there's also this, which is like pictures, I guess, from... That's just crazy. Imagine this going through your house. That would suck. Is this a, is this a spider rub? Oh, my God. It's a spider rub covered with ice. That's crazy. Anyway, yeah, so there's another one. I'm actually about to record a video, so um, stay tuned for that. This video is probably going to come after the, the one I'm about to record. If you're in Eugene, um, I know I have a couple subscribers. Let me know how you're doing, because, I mean, we do have, like, um, power bumps, but it's not, like, that bad, and, like, yeah, last night it did one out completely for an hour, an hour and a half, so it hasn't been that bad. But if you're 
apartment or household or whatever is completely out of like electricity or whatever let me know and maybe i can i don't know make you coffee or something at home because that sucks like it really it does and you can like charge your phone or something here anyway thanks for watching this video i'll see y'all next one in the comments let me know if where you live where you're from if you ever have ice storms this happened because we had freezing rain for the entire week before this happened so and that's just oregon it rains all the time but with freezing rain it's like really really cold rain um i guess it just froze really fast but still crazy see you guys in the next video bye bye psych this is not the end of the video just yet um i wanted to do a quick update today is um december 20th tuesday and when i went filming um it was it was a friday night so it was december 17th i can't count 16th i don't know anyway um so i just wanted to show you guys my um Oops, show you my balcony. Um, so that plant over there is totally dead, by the way. But all of these trees were uh, iced and we had like branches like right up here. So, and it's, there's like always a puddle here. I had like workers coming here and get the branches off. So that was not the greatest thing, but Eugene is back to normal as you can see there's no more ice on um, trees and stuff so I'm sure like if you go outside Eugene um, like the hills by Eugene and that's where I think people are still dealing with all the consequences and stuff but here we're all good there's, you can still see like, a couple like branches like laying here and there um, but here like downtown where I live I'm not in focus here downtown it's not um nearly as bad and the weather is nice i mean compared to like the 20 degrees that we had last couple of days i don't know what that was it was just like a cold wave um now it's like 45 degrees so pretty nice for me nice but for a lot of americans it's like cold but anyway thank you guys for watching this video um for real now bye <laughs>